expect me to get my leg up there? They strip search or anything gruesome like that? Oh, well. Sorry to disappoint you, doll. Oh, no way am I doing that. What, just a caution and off you go, Sonny? Yeah, pretty much. Although not without a heavy drugs like your first. Now, if it had been fags, but maybe we should do a tap routine, Hatton Kane. I know it's you arriving with Sugar Daddy Lagos last night. No. Hmm? It's you I'm really after. Oh. Stuart, oh. darling, oh. you're the one that I want. You are the one I want. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Honey. The one I need. Oh, oh yes, indeed. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> what you do, little toes? You'll have me out of the show. Ah, oh, it was deliberate. I want to be the star. Oh, do something like that. You're Mr. Nice Guy. Well, I wouldn't put it past you, though. Oh, I love you too, sweetheart. <laughs> Thank you. You happy now? The family name disgraced? My reputation done and who knows what damage? And all because of your foolishness. Nothing to do with the drugs. They took me in for organizing the thing. I can't lay the drugs on me as well. I oh, damn well hope you didn't. I hope that was just somebody trying to make money off the back of your idea. You should have expected it. You bring a few hundred wild kids to the island that's bound to get the authorities worried. Seen it and taken care of it. How could I have taken care of it? Oh, Jack! Oh, give me a shock, Dad. The deal went for number seven, boss. No, it's working for you. I'm sweet. I've missed you. But you're so easy to know. You all right? Fine. Really? Something happened? Jack, look, you're really worrying me. Tell me what's the matter. Nothing. You don't want to see me that too, isn't it? Sandy, it's... To me, you're... It was just I hadn't had many girlfriends before. I, I mean, friends of the girls. So what are you saying? Do you want to see me or what? It's not you at all. <laughs> it's just I'm useless at finding the words. Why didn't you come to me first? Together we could have got a drive. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they're in here. It's out of my hands. Nothing on this island's out of your hands, Dad. See what I can do. When young Rosie was staying at the farm, she got herself into little bits of mischief. But nothing serious. It's just mum went into one of her usual moans and then started asking questions about Rosie and then about you and then about. Yeah, well, I can guess the rest. What's my lovely son doing hanging around with a scout's chambermaid and a runaway scally sister? It's typical. It's just my luck. Sandy, it's just that us farming people are a little more reserved than you city farm. Sad little woolly back. Mum will come round soon enough. Well, when she meets you.
Suddenly this is serious. Really, I haven't noticed. Sorry. Your stepmother's taken Tom to her father's for a few days. So I thought I'd come and see how you were. Something to fill in your spare time. No, I wanted to come. Can you do something for me? I need to get a message to Danny. It's just that I lent him my shirt. I don't think you'd be too worried about that. Are you okay? But it is important. It's, it's, it's the shirt with the large checks. I wouldn't want him to lose his shirt on my account. The large checks. Tell him he can have it back on Wednesday. On Tell him not to worry. Can you do that for me? Please. There isn't anybody else. the wrong button, and bingo. Nobody needs to know. Ford. Shh, keep your voice down. But that's what it is, Ford. Listen, you know, as your superior, I could order you to do this. Try it. Graham, we both know that if I did it, I'd just mess it up and wipe the mainframe or something. It needs a surgeon's hand, an artist. So, uh, you keep putting in the hours and keep your nose clean and promotion will come. You mark my words. A word, then. There's a few small matters I need to talk to you about in private. Perhaps tomorrow afternoon. Tomorrow? It's fine. Graham. How about if I made it worth your while? I can't believe you're saying this. No, hear me out. I mean, wages at your level can't be that great. What are we talking? 12, 13k? Ugh, fraud and bribery. I could get you moved. What? Promoted. Moved. Listen, I know you've always fancied the window next to Julie Willis. Not interested. I could lend you my car. Any time. No. I could give you my CD player. No. I'll get you a date with Louise. When? Wednesday. After the football. No tricks. No tricks. Lend you my car any time. The Fiesta. It's serious. But Lou, he's a great bloke. He's a prat. Look, it's just one little day. Nobody needs to know. And of course, you wouldn't have to, you know, do anything. Oh, fine then. in Glasgow when I used to take Robbie. Big swing doors it had. Robbie used to call them the portals of heaven.
Yeah, I know. What's the bail? Not too stiff. There is no bail, the charges are dropped. How do you manage that? They don't want you and they don't want your raids. What do you mean? What about the things you said before about working with them and talking them around? I also said check the market first, the whole market. They make a pound from your venture but lose five because you put off the tourist business. It's an easy choice. They have to drive you out. How can they do that? They can still link you with the drug charges. You just have the charges for drugs. Dominic, you've come a long way, but I think it's time you stood up on your own box and did your own shouting. Learn to sell yourself. Think about it. Should you be doing that here or on the mainland? You've done a deal with them. I had no choice. When do I have to leave? Tomorrow. I made arrangements for you to work with my brokers in the city. I'll be expecting you. I felt like a done deal. It's a flight tomorrow evening if I must do. Kick me out. Well, Philip. I... Uh oh, warning bells are ringing. I'm sorry, it's just not working. What is it? Well, it's our relationship. It's crazy. I see. Spend half the night talking, laughing. Making love. Is that crazy? No, it was wonderful. Right. But I'm an unemployed toy boy beach bum. I can't give you anything Alex did. That has got nothing to do with it. What then? I'm thinking about you too. There's plenty of women you'd be better off with. Who are you to tell me what's right for me? I suppose you'd pair me off with the lovely Louise or the saintly Teresa. Stop it. I just don't understand. There's so much going for us. It's over, Philip. That's all there is to it. It was wonderful, but it's over. Right. I am sorry. Me too. I had an offer to crew a sloop set for Antigua. Could have taken that. Maybe you should. Maybe I still can. isn't it? Are you still looking for crew? Change your mind then. Yes or no? We sail tomorrow. Twenty hundred hours. Sort things out. 
and I think how many years I've been here, surprising how little there is to sort out. Teresa, I just wanted to say that... What about Danny? Have you told Danny? Danny? I really think you should say something to him. You know, he's worried enough as it is. And if he thinks you're leaving the island, I think you should call him now. Let's relax a little, shall we? Uh, listen, Annette, it's really nice of you to give me a lift home and that, but uh, there was this documentary on at 8 o'clock. How's business? Business? Mm. Oh, you know, usual little problems, incompetence from below. You know how it is. But it's nothing I can't handle. Work never stops, eh? Danny Hill. Friday, you say? Uh, no, not, not a problem. But, uh, a, a bit earlier would be better for me. Friday it is then, not to worry. Yeah. Yeah, cheers. Yeah, good to hear from you. Cheers. Bye. Oh, got to keep them happy, haven't we? Danny, if there was a problem, anything at all, let's say you lent funds on wisely. Maybe, maybe you can have them back. I think my position would do anything to have a boss as understanding as you and that. That's about you. Sorry. Did you get anything? Yeah. I mean, that's because I would. you decided to come. I wouldn't have stayed away for the world. What is it you think I can do for you? I think you know what I want. You want danger, excitement, power. Is that it? Well, that can come later. What I want right now is Nicky's job. And that's mine to give. It's one thing having Dominic in the press, but picture this one. The rush and teen dancer in drugs raid. They wouldn't print it. What with photos and full lurid background story? I have a fabulous imagination. The rug where we made love. The pool. What else do you want? My own flat. Near the beach, for preference, and obviously it would have to be somewhere where. You felt comfortable. And why, obviously? Because you'd be coming to visit me, I hope. We could have such fun together, Edward. I wouldn't make myself a nuisance. I promise. I can't stand clinging women. Well, what do you think? What I think, Louise. That you're a very silly little girl who's way out of the depth. And you'll be damned lucky if you don't get fired. That's what I think. The Irish say, eh? that hellfire. Oh 
only when they're down do the eyes of God. Do they burn in hell? I wish. You know, Tom, like, you've got everything going for you. But you're your own worst enemy. You're the only person I can really talk to. These last few days you've been wonderful. Really wonderful. Oh, no, listen, I, I couldn't have got through it all without you. That's what I have. Now, what's all this about no dosh till Friday? That's the day his old man checks his account. You don't make explain all that to you. He said you're fine about us. Yeah, well, last night wasn't exactly a great moment. I couldn't really talk. I was a bit... Never mind about that. Where is he? His plane leaves tonight. You might be able to catch him. Damn, I've got the bank's football to look. Who's playing? He's not doing a runner, is he? Darling, don't be so stupid. From you. So there's nothing wrong with mistakes. As long as you learn from them. Thanks for the advice. By the way, Louise is only 17. Take good care of yourself. spoken for. Yeah. Only if it's true. You wouldn't want me to go about telling lies. It's true.